obviously we started, the first Stronghold 1 came out in 2001, it was very successful, followed up then by, I think, what has been like the fans' favourite game, which is um, Crusader. We've then gone through various iterations with a publisher, um, so Legend, Stronghold 2, um, and then more recently, Stronghold 3, which kind of was our last um, traditional publisher route game. Um, and, you know, thanks for that, because I think, it, you know, Stronghold 3 came out way too early. We wanted to hold it back, but the publisher had commitments, and so it came out. We patched it, but, you know, it, we took a big hit on Stronghold 3 because it was in, frankly, not great shape when it came out. But with Crusader, um, we've kind of like rewritten a lot of the Stronghold 3 engine, we've built on it, it's like pretty much three years later, and we're self-publishing that. So that's our first self-published title. So we've had this kind of mentality of it's, you know, it's ready when it's ready, and we've kind of pretty much stuck to that. We've kind of delayed it, and then recently we just delayed it another three weeks, um, and, and now it is in good shape. You know, unlike Stronghold 3, we're happy to get this one out now. Um, you know, we'll continue to kind of like support it, develop it, add features to it afterwards. So it's got to come out at some point. But um, I think we're, 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 we're happy where we are with our first self-published Stronghold title. And it's nice, you know, to be, to be publishing your, your own, you know, your own uh, game as a developer. Because after a while, you, you know, you realise, hold on a minute, why, why should we be making changes to the game because a publisher says so and because they're, cause they're the ones fronting all the money? Um, so, you know, we've got, we're in the control, you know, of the franchise again, pretty much, after almost uh, 14 years. But I think what happened with, uh, with, the, with the kind of the, the um, debacle of, of the Stronghold 3 release um, was that we had to work that bit harder to kind of convince everybody, like, look, it will be okay in the end. You know, it will take us more time to get it to where it should have been on release, but we'll do it, and we did it. And so, whilst we took a hit at the time, you know, and, and that hurt, and we had to, you know, pretty much fight fires all, all the, put out fires all the time by kind of going, well, are we going to fix this? We're going to do that. We did do it, and I think in the end, it did actually create a slightly stronger bond with our community, and it made us a lot more aware of, of the need to engage with the community. I mean, I know, you know, it, it's kind of what everybody does a bit more now anyway with social media and everything, but we, we used to be the old the dev that had a website that would change every six months. Now that's all changed. We, it, so the, the Stronghold 3, in a way, really gave us a, a kind of kick up the backside, like, no, we have to we have to engage more strongly with the community. We have to let people know what's going on. I mean, quite often it's just letting people know what goes on. I think helps. You know, it's saying no, we're doing this, and we're doing this because, because um, quite often it's hard. You know, you think, well, it's hard to explain the uh, the coding rationale be behind why something will be a bit later, or, or why we're not doing this, or why we're doing something in a positive way. Um, but it, I think it helps to do that, and I think we've seen that. And so I think going forward, we will put a lot more time into that. Um, it, it's helped slightly by the fact that we are a, a very light publisher ourselves now and so we have uh, people like Nick uh, and, and some community managers that are able to kind of talk to the community more whereas before we were pretty much um, a, a coding and art team and we left all of the sort of the PR or the community management side to a, to a third party publisher which was kind of crazy but so you know we're we're pretty simple people it's taken us 12 15 years to realize that actually no we need to talk more directly to our community um, so yeah, and it has strengthened our belief that it's vital for us to kind of to be more open and to uh, engage more fully. You know, the guys have done a fantastic job in portraying all the elements of the game and kind of slowly feeding stuff out. And I think there's a really um, you know um, strong will that you know desire there for the game to be good and and to kind of deliver you know, what the, you know, the, the, the true sequel to the original game. I mean, the, that's always kind of been the fans' favourite because it was built on top of the original Stronghold. It took what was good about that and then polished it some more. And so, um, you know, we've taken not what was good about Stronghold 3, we've taken what was good about a fixed Stronghold 3 and then spent years kind of building on top of that to get to a much more polished thing. And I think, um, I think that there is a lot of excitement, a lot of expectation and um, I'm pretty confident we can deliver it this time around. It's the game um, 
that strong or three should have been. Obviously, it, it plays differently. It's more about skirmish with with Crusader. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we'd have loved strong or three to be in this state, I mean, a, a lot a lot of it. I mean, it, it's a complicated game to make um, stronghold. You know, it's a mixture of a builder game and an RTS, and it, it and all the routing involved with um, screwing around with the pathfinding, building walls across cliffs, putting walls on on slopes, um, and then getting people to go underneath them in gatehouses, knock them down climb on top of them you know it, it's a very complicated game and stronghold 3 um got got close to it, i think certainly after the patching uh, but we've had a lot of time to think things through and, and learn the lessons from that and go no we're doing that in a more simple way for example with the walls we've gone back to the original tile based it's 3d but we but we had a kind of long time there with stronghold 3 and stronghold 2 actually where we made the walls a little bit more at any angle which is a nightmare for the coders and actually just doesn't play as well and you know it's taken us about eight years to figure that out again going back we're not very clever people but um but we figured it out now and it's tile based and it's it plays so much better it plays like the original and sometimes you just need that to make those decisions to kind of go great we've now pretty much solved the, the wall issue which allows us to focus on other things other other kind of knotty areas but yeah i think the commute going back to your point the community i think um are excited about it. Um, we're seeing great pre-order numbers at the minute. Uh, a lot of people are kind of, you know, waiting to kind of get that first that first look at it. We had some great uh, feedback from the beta beta testers, um, which you know, positive feedback, and as well as you know, constructive ideas and things like that, and ideas for the future. Um, so, you know, we're still here through. through you know, persistence and the fact that we like, you know, castle games, we've always liked castle games and um, and we've just kind of stuck at it. But yeah, I mean, you know, Stronghold, um, it's kind of one of the few last men standing in the RTS area and, that, and, that, and that, that's great for us because it's, it's one of those kind of eternal um, areas that, that luckily so far nobody else has kind of gone into. Possibly, I think, because as, as I said, it, it's, it's a hard area to code well because a lot of RTSs typically are, are kind of base building. So you, you build some buildings with a very light uh, economy side to it, but they're not, but you don't really kind of like rope them in with walls and kind of then have stairs onto the walls and then gatehouses going through them and towers and it, it, it's, they're not as complicated. So that kind of, in a way, the, the, the hardness of making a stronghold title kind of is like our own defense, our own castle against the, against any, you know, other people, you know, looking to steal our, our crown, I suppose. <laughs>